From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Temperature has been running above normal so far for the month of January, and so that would entail the whole year so far, at least 11 days into the year. 67 degrees yesterday. We haven't had any rain since Wednesday. January 4th, we picked up 66 hundredths of an inch. That will likely change later today as showers and thunderstorms will be moving into the Midlands. 10 years ago, hard to believe 10 years ago was 2013, but 10 years ago we did pick up some very warm conditions. 82 degrees, I don't guess we picked it up. We made it up to 82. Record lows 11 set in 1981. We did pick up over an inch of snow in 1968. So very warm conditions today. Showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon and evening hours. We'll go anywhere from about four to maybe eight o'clock main time frame. It may last a little bit later into the evening, but as of right now, four to eight, possibly a little bit later. This particular forecast model brings the activity later into the Midlands, but again, it can kind of vary an hour or two here or there, but here's four o'clock, here's five o'clock, showers and thunderstorms start to move into portions of the Midlands and the Palmetto State. And notice a pretty good line of storms there at seven. Again, could it be a little bit earlier? Of course, could it be a little bit later? It could be. Eight o'clock, that line starts to move through the central Midlands and continues to move from west to east. There's nine o'clock. And then as this line of main line of storms kind of moves into the low country of South Carolina, it does weaken. A little bit of rain will be kind of lingering behind that main line of storms. And then our weather does improve on Friday, although it's going to be breezy on Friday with those winds coming out of the northwest. We'll say anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour, bringing in some cooler air. We are under a risk for severe weather. Marginal risk for a large portion of the Midlands, slight risk for parts of Richland, maybe a sliver of Richland, Lexington, Salute to Newberry and parts of Fairfield County. So what does that mean? There will be that chance for damaging wind gusts. That appears to be the main threat at this point, damaging wind gusts. Can't totally rule out though, maybe an isolated tornado warning. We'll have to watch that for the majority of the Midlands and small chance for large hail. So the severe risk categories, we talked about slight and marginal. Slight means short-lived and or not widespread. Isolated, intense storms possible, and that marginal risk is a little bit lower than that. Limited duration and or coverage in intensity for those storms. So slight risk and a marginal risk for the Midlands. So we're gonna have the moisture, we've got the lifting mechanism in the form of a cold front. We have plenty of wind shear. The question right now, will we have the instability? If we do get the instability, it could be a busy afternoon. No watches in place as of now, but know the difference between a watch and a warning. Watch means conditions are favorable. Know where to go when severe weather hits. So you do want to have a plan if a watch is issued. And you do want to have multiple ways to receive those weather watches and or warnings. A warning means bad weather is happening or likely happening. Severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warning. If you get a tornado warning, you want to go to the lowest floor of your house away from windows and doors and be alert even when you don't see danger outside. Short term, no danger, but temperature is going to be warming up to spring like conditions. Upper 60s, low 70s could be even warmer for at least portions of the Midlands. Showers and thunderstorms likely, especially early this evening. As that cold front moves on through, our weather does improve. Breezy conditions tomorrow with highs in the middle 50s, so closer to normal for tomorrow. We'll go about 50 degrees on Saturday, mid 50s on Sunday after morning low in the mid 20s. So a cold start to your Sunday and then looking ahead towards the MLK holiday. Mid 50s, a little bit of rain possible Tuesday and then we're back up to about 70 on Wednesday and we're still expecting warmer than normal conditions across most of the south. In our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, that would include January 19th through January 25th.